How many times have you clicked away from a video not because the picture quality was bad, but because the audio was terrible? So the point is you definitely need to use a microphone when you're creating your video content, but choosing the right one can be a little intimidating. So here's 15 quick tips to get you started. So don't go away. Hey guys, Mike here and welcome back to the channel. The people that say that audio is 50% of video, I think, are probably underselling it a little bit. We can all put up with video that isn't too good, but we'll switch off a lot quicker when the audio is bad. Either too low or too high volume or just unclear. So getting the audio right for your YouTube videos is super crucial to make sure the audience stay engaged in your video. So you definitely need to use an external microphone and not rely on the built-in microphone of your smartphone or camera. I would highly recommend a wireless microphone system as they're easy to set up and use, and these days, very affordable and great quality. But if you're new to content creation, you may be wondering where to start. So here are 15 essential things you should consider when selecting a wireless microphone system for your YouTube videos. Whether you're vlogging, creating tutorials, or producing any type of content, getting the right microphone is crucial for capturing professional quality audio, so let's dive right in. First things first, set a budget. Wireless microphone systems can range from affordable to high-end, so knowing your budget will help you narrow down your options. Some really good news is that these days there are many affordable choices available for you to get started. Now I'll give you a couple of options at the end of the video, so make sure you stay until the end. Check the wireless range of the system. That's the distance the system will work at between the transmitters and receivers before it cuts out, and make sure it covers the distance you'll be filming from your recording device, either your camera or smartphone. Now, the good news here is that most systems these days have the capability to cover much more distance than you will most likely need. So unless you're planning on being more than a couple of hundred meters from your camera while filming, you shouldn't have to worry. If you plan to film outdoors, consider a microphone system that comes with some sort of wind protection, such as a foam windscreen or a furry dead cat. Almost all systems that I've seen so far do come with those and they're super easy to fit and use. When you're filming in an outdoor environment, they actually do make a big difference. Now I've filmed in some locations where the wind was very, very strong and I thought even with wind protection, the audio would be unusable, but to my surprise, it was actually pretty good. So they do make a big difference. Next, consider the battery life of both the microphone and receiver so you've got enough to get you through extended recording sessions. Again, the good news is that most systems these days at both ends of the budget spectrum have ridiculously good battery life and are generally more than capable of lasting a full day's recording. Most of the systems as well also generally come with a charging case, so popping the transmitters or receivers back in the case for even a short amount of time will enable you to quickly top up the charge and you can get back to recording without much delay. Choose a microphone system built to withstand wear and tear. Look for robust construction and reliable components. If you're reasonably kind to your gear, then this won't be a problem, but bear in mind that no wireless microphone systems are waterproof though. So just bear that in mind when you're wanting to record your next extreme sports vlog or something similar. If you're always on the go, opt for a compact and portable system that's easy to carry and set up. Again, the good news is the vast majority of systems these days on the market are ultra portable. As I said before, most come in a small portable case that doubles as a charger. The case also ensures that the transmitters and receiver are automatically paired so that when you take them out of the case, they connect automatically. You just need to simply plug the receiver into your device and you're good to press record. Some systems have audio monitoring options so you can hear exactly what your audience will hear when you're recording. Now this is handy if you're recording an interview and want to hear the exact audio that your system is capturing at the time. The way this is achieved is usually by including a headphone jack in the receiver. In most cases though, in my opinion, this feature is a bit of a nice to have, not a must have. But if this is important to you, then take that feature into account when making your buying decision. All wireless options include transmitters that have microphones built in, so you can clip them on and use them straight away. But another option is getting a system that allows you to attach an external microphone. Now options include lavalier and shotgun microphones, so if you're thinking of adding an external microphone to your kit, choose one that suits your content style. Now my preference is a lavalier microphone paired with a wireless transmitter because I like the clean look that it gives, plus it's pretty easy to set up. In terms of the wireless system itself being compatible with your smartphone or camera, you, know, you won't have any issues with that. However, if you're using a lav mic with your system, some third-party microphones don't work with some systems. For example, Stu Carroll did a great video where he tested eight different lavalier microphones with the DJI wireless mic system. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. 
Don't forget to budget for accessories like additional microphone clips, extension cables, and carrying cases that you think you might need. Many systems can be purchased in various configurations that have some, all, or no accessories. And again, you can take this into account when looking at your budget. I'd also suggest you think about your future needs. Will you need to expand your setup at some point in the future? Some systems allow for additional microphones to be added, but some don't. So if you're looking at a one microphone setup, but think that maybe in the future you want to be doing things like two-person interviews, then maybe spend the extra up front and get a system that'll work for you now and in the future. Always balance price and features when making a decision. Sometimes a slightly more expensive system can offer better performance and reliability, but they can also give you features you don't really need. So make a list of the features that are important to you and go from there. Reading user reviews and watching video reviews are a great way to learn about real world experiences that other people have had with the microphone system you're considering. Now these are super useful because it allows you to benefit from other people's trials and the money that they've spent, and they often cover aspects, features, or flaws in the system that you're looking at, which really helps inform your final decision. Always check the warranty and customer support options in case you encounter any issues with your system, and that's good advice for any tech you buy. Great audio quality can significantly enhance your content and engage your audience. So take time to do a little bit of research and choose the microphone system that best suits your needs now and in the future. Now I own and have used several wireless microphone systems for both cameras and smartphones, including the DJI Mic, the Rode Wireless Go and the Wireless Go 2. But recently I've been using a couple of very wallet friendly options that are compatible with smartphones and cameras, and they both produce really good results without breaking the bank. So top tip number 15 would be to check out one or both of these videos and find out if one of these systems would suit your needs. Yep, I know that last one was a little bit sneaky, but anyway, thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.